All right, here we go. One of the tallest cranes in North America. You can see these little levers there. I just put my thumbs right there. Those are my buttons for the flippers and the unlocks and slow down. So anyways, I'm on a super ship here and um, I'm just gonna give you a few moves here. It's gonna be a little boring because it takes a little while to actually get the can off the ship and get it down to the dock to the can. So bear with me. I'll try and explain a little bit about what's happening. Just know the ground down there is about 175 feet to the bottom of my feet. And we're inside the ship now. We're what we call discharging all the cargo. We were gonna load back here, but we're gonna move to another bay. But I just wanna give you an idea of, of discharging cargo off of one of these gigantic ships and what it's like to try and look down inside these holes and get the beams inside these sail guides um, to get it down to the can. So now I'm in the sail guide and kind of guides it down there for me. This thing slows down automatically, which kind of takes a little more time. I wish they'd get rid of this slow down button on here. But anyways, it touches down, gives me a, a landing light. I lock it up. I got my red light. Now I'm going to come out. I'm hoisting up and I'm going to start going backwards before this can even gets out of that hole so I can be faster. So I'm going backwards now. Okay, now I'm going to let off the hoist and I'm full stick towards my truck. As soon as I get to the rail here, I'm going to let go of the stick and start lowering the can down. So I'm just coasting backwards and I'm lowering the can down. Now I'm just thumbing my stick to trolley back a little bit so I can get over the bomb cart. I'm going to slow down here and I think I'm right over it. I'm going to pop it in there right now. And there we go, right on target. So there's one move down. I unlock from that. There's no cones or anything on here, so these guys will just let the truck go on through. Another truck will pull up. Wait for me to grab another can. So you can see it's about a minute, minute, minute or half or so to get up onto the ship, grab a can, get it back down to the dock. That trucker there will take uh, the can out to the yard and another machine will grab it in there and stack it into a pile where it'll wait for the uh, customer to come, the truck driver to come and pick it up, which could be tonight, could be tomorrow, could be during the week. So who knows, but uh, anyways, there's probably about 187 cans inside the hole of this ship right here. And then probably another 100 cans that'll go on deck. These uh, ships, I think this one's about uh, 21 cans wide, and it'll hold about 15,000 of these containers on the entire ship, and um, probably a value of about a billion dollars, maybe a little more on these ships. So again, coasting, I'll let go, and I'm hoisting down now, full stick. And my coast was pretty good. I'm almost over the bomb card. I don't think I have to make any adjustments. I think I'm gonna go right down into the slot right here. we go. Come on, come on, baby. There we go. All right, I'm kind of making this look easy, but just know even the sun shines on a donkey's ass. Um, I'm just happen to get lucky right here grabbing these, but the whole idea is to be consistent um, and repetitious get as many cans as you can off this ship. Um, the other crane operators next to me, some great drivers out here on the waterfront. And what we do, man, is we look at each other, man, and we, we try and get to that dock faster than the guy next to us, you know? It's kind of a little competition out here with all the guys. See who's the fastest, who can bring off the most cans in a timely fashion. And uh, without damaging anything or, or hurting anyone. But anyways, you can see we're probably about five minutes here. and We've only got a few cans off to give you an idea. I'm driving at a pretty good pace, but it's just, uh, it's a big ship, man. Cans are coming off and going and flying around. And I'm looking at this automated dock being set up next to us where we're going to lose a lot of work as longshoremen. Um, I mean, we seem to be losing a lot of work in all of our industries right now with autonomy and I know it's scary for a lot of people but uh, 
new and better things will come from it. It's just the little in between time of this autonomy of what the hell are we going to do for work and some kind of living, but I'm sure we'll figure it all out. All right, I touched on that bomb card a little early right there, so you can see the can kind of moving sideways. So I'm going to pick it up, try and straighten it out, and settle it back in there. And you try and be gentle here because if you watch that cab of that truck, see how it moves right there and I barely set the can down? Sometimes you can go in here and set these things down sideways, man, and really shake these guys up. And um, I used to drive those trucks before I became a crane operator and it's not fun. Your back, your neck, um, it really wears you out doing this stuff. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off here. I just wanted to give you guys a little view of what uh, it looks like I'm gonna be doing this for a straight four hours I'll take a lunch break for an hour and then come back and knock out another four hours so with that everybody have a great day um, if there's anything you want to watch on a, a, a video to give me some suggestions of what you want to see I don't know if you want to like see me actually driving the, the crane I can do that too. kind of give a perspective I guess from up top of what it looks like or maybe the side from me uh, driving but uh, Anyways, just uh, leave me a note or something, a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see, man. Have a great night. We're making it happen out here in the Port of L.A.